this is Leeds First Direct Arena, which was delivered for Leeds City Council with a budget of about £60 million. And the brief was to provide a fantastic music venue for about 13 to 14,000 people in the city of Leeds. And the key drivers for everybody really was to create a, a landmark building that Leeds could be proud of. The first fan shaped arena in the UK based on the old Roman and Greek amphitheatres of the past and the idea was to have the audience much closer to the acts on stage to make it much more intimate if you like. The first thing that'll strike anyone when they, they come and look at this building, the unique thing about it is the shape and layout of the building, the, the complex geometry of the building. We first became involved in the project um, you know, after the, the bid process for an operator. SMG provided a very detailed specification and then we, we sat around the table, worked very closely with Leeds City Council and the other project partners, um, Populous, BAM, Davis, Langdon. The main challenges for the engineer were fitting the building onto this very tight site and in very tight planning restrictions. I think steel was chosen really uh, through, through various things, through quickness in terms of programme for erection. If we had an ability in steelwork, I don't think we'd have hit the programme. Cost, and the fact that steelwork creates the clear spans within the auditoria that the, that the obviously that the venue depends on in terms of its functionality because columns are obviously out of the question. Steel was chosen for this project for a number of reasons. The seating bowl structure is, is very tight, there's very limited headroom underneath, and steel enabled a shallow enough structure to be produced there. Steel also is useful because it was largely prefabricated off-site, and there was limited room to erect the frame on site. The roof is made up of long span trusses. One third of the roof is supported by a large plasemium arch truss, which spans across the full width of the stage. This truss spans 54 metres, it is 10 and a half metres deep. The truss weighs in at 170 tonnes and this truss was assembled on the ground and lifted up into position by two 500 tonne mobile cranes and held in position by the two cranes for 72 hours to allow the main stage structure to be built around it to stabilise it before the cranes could be removed. The rest of the roof is made up of 13 long span trusses. These trusses span from 40 to 70 metres and weigh in at a maximum truss weighs 65 tonnes. The fire protection strategy for the concourse structure was to provide intumescent paint. For the structures over the stage and arena itself, the fire engineering strategy was taken looking at the fire load in different areas of the building and where possible demonstrating that less or no additional fire protection was required providing significant cost savings for the project. The other arena is obviously in the, in the middle of Leeds, which is great from an accessibility point of view, but because of that, we're very close to um, the student accommodation of, uh, of, of Leeds University. So acoustics and breakout noise from the arena was, was, was high up in terms of how we designed the building. BIM was crucial for the delivery of this project. At the design phase, all the different parties involved share their models and it enabled good coordination of the complex geometry of the building. The supply tray also provided 3D models and this enabled the building to be well coordinated and minimise difficulties on site. On the front facade, we used standard curtain walling to create the honeycomb shape, but curtain walling laid diagonally rather than traditionally straight up. Uh, and in between the honeycombed windows we had um, tracery which was made of, of steelwork and just a metal cladding system and within the tracery was strip lighting which goes back and is very cleverly controlled by some computer graphics which then makes the arena kind of pulsate uh, when the bands are on and draws people into the entrance. The first director in Leeds has proved um, very successful. Um, it performs um, to our expectations. In fact, it, you know, it's exceeded them. Um, from an artist's perspective, Bruce Springsteen praised it more than once from the stage during his performance, called it a lovely room, said it was impossible to play a bad note. Um, Rod Stewart put it in his top two venues in the world, alongside uh, Caesars Palace in, in Las Vegas. We're really proud that it's the first fan shirt uh, arena in the UK. We're really proud that every band that has 
been and, and entertained in the arena has said how fantastic it is. But most of all, I'm, I'm proud that um, I'm from Leeds. I was born in Leeds. I was in control of this arena. And when I walk past in 10 years time, possibly with my grandchildren, I can tell them that Grandad built that.